Hey everybody, I'm your host, Strategic Jordan, and this is Let's Watch These My Little Pony Trailers, because it's been a little while since I've done any Let's Watches, and I might as well get back into them by do watching something I really enjoy, which is the My Little Pony TV show, so, and I got a webcam, uh, it has its own microphone, but I don't want, uh, it, it's crap, it's really crap, so we're not going to use it. Um, I've been meaning to use this. I'm not going to use this for my Let's Plays unless it's a really scary game or something like that deserves to see my physical reaction. Like one of the Telltale Walking Dead games or something like that. But tell me what you think and if I should use this for Let's Watches. Now I know these are just the trailers. It's the first one and the second one for Season 5. So we won't there's not really going to be much reaction on my part, I think. I, I don't know what the fuck's in these things. So, let's watch. Let's let's do this. Let's let's see how it goes. It's actually got some good music. Welcome. You Welcome. fuckers are creepy. You're going to see a lot of new and exciting characters this season. And first and foremost is Starlight Glimmer. I'm so Surrey pleased Polo? to have you here. Our ponies are going to go into a town that she is running. I know smiles. And those smiles, they're just not right. Ew. Forget the smiles. That's creepy. Look at the cutie marks. She Communism! Philosophy about friendship and what friendship means. In particular, what a cutie mark means. She doesn't necessarily believe that it's as positive a thing. And Starlight Glimmer really thinks that when you're different from other people, if other people are better than you at something, it ruins a friendship. Only uh, way to be happy is if we're all equal. She's created this utopian society in her mind that Communism. is all about everyone being equal. On the surface, everyone seems to be happy and smiling. We're gonna explore <laughs> what her we have communism. Are Austria, how they may not be so good for everyone. They'll finally understand what we're trying to accomplish. One of the great things about My Little Pony is it's got this huge heritage with characters that are beloved. It's always fun to go back and look at those characters that we haven't explored yet, sort of see which ones could make for some great stories. Oh, you gonna bring some back? Announcing the smooths! What? I think the episode what? that features smooths what? is one of the funniest. What? <gasps> what? I remember the smooths taking over by just what? covering the world in his smoothiness. And I don't want to give anything away, but needless to say, what? it's going to be pretty exciting for They friends. got the smooths! They got the smooths! I think our 100th episode is really fun. You oh see my. recurring characters in the background that are going to get the, some time Steve, in the foreground. Steve the, the serpent! <laughs> I saw him! You're gonna to learn more about Sweet. You ever wondered about D? Well, guess what? We've been building and waiting a really long time, but we're finally gonna have. You fucker! Oh, you're good! <laughs> you cheeky son of a bitch! That. Okay, so there was some. There, there was some reaction. I'm, I'm glad I put my webcam in again. That was. That was pretty good. Oh, I'm fucking excited now. Let's move on. We got a little pony friendship is magic. Obviously, is about friendship and the power of friendship. So season five is going to really delve more into what it means to be friends and Ooh. how friendship can impact those around you. I think one of the big themes for this, this makes me happy. Is fucking music. The talents that you've been given to make the world a better place. You're a part of me, all of you. And there's no doubt you're a part of my mission to spread friendship too. The coolest thing about working on My Little Pony is how expansive the universe is. There is a fantasy element to it, there is an adventure yes. element to it, and we're not afraid to get the girls into some trouble that, that puts them in some tight spots. Be ready to fight! We don't know what's gonna come through that door! This is At awesome! End of season four, we found Twilight Sparkle I'm getting geeking this out. magical, amazing new castle. I'm springing from the ground because of the magic of the it tree. It still looks kinda stupid, but it grows on you. Defeated T Rex and got this sweet castle. End of story. One of the unexpected surprises about this castle is this map emerges. The, in the round story. table. It really becomes apparent that the map has some bigger plans that a lot. for them. Is that new? I like it. The way that the map works <laughs> is it summons our ponies. They get a little 
sort of signal on their cutie mark, it starts vibrating, uh, and that lets them know the map is calling them. We'll see the map calling our girls to go. It's a strategy game. Equestria. But you can have some awesome tabletop though, battles. Like get get, get a warhammer on Looks like on there, like a chaos trip. army. Places that you may have cool. heard ponies reference in past episodes that you've always wondered what's it like. We're going there this season. I think everyone's going to be pretty thrilled really? when they get there. That's it. That's the place on the map. The main characters on the show are sort of trying to figure out what the map is all about. Does that mean the map is calling us somewhere else? The Cutie Mark map just Already? opens up a ton of storytelling possibilities that we've never explored before. There's a ton of room for dangerous adventure along that route. Count me in. If you have so really cool. good magic skills, you can use the map to do other things. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> It's fucking awesome! Wait, when, when, when is it airing? Go back a bit. Oh, fuck. Ah, season 5. Uh, season premiere, April 4th. We're going to be there. We shall go on the adventure of a lifetime! Anyways, I've been your host, Strategic Jorn. Check the description below for more stuff I've done. Tell me what you think of this webcam thing for reactions. Again, it's very unlikely I'll use it for Let's Plays unless it's like a very... Like, if I ever do Amnesia, I own Amnesia. I've never played Amnesia, so I might use it for that. And other stuff. See you next time, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.